Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. I apologize for there not being an update video. It was was there was an update. It wasn't a significant update. What they did was they reworked the build vision. As you can see, I haven't had build vision on, but I have still in survival mode. Uh, they've changed it now, so you can have build vision in survival mode or without survival mode. They've also uh, changed it so they have layers. Now, I've noticed the transportation layer doesn't actually show up, but as you can see, you can turn on and off power connections. Uh, let's go downstairs and I'll show you. Here's a good spot to do it right here. Let's go into the power room. So as you can see, you can see the inventories of the machines. Again, I am in uh, survival mode, and now I'm in build mode. And you can switch back and forth by open up the build menu to bring up this menu or hit Q to go back here. But as you can see, we can still see the battery charge, we can still see the crafting queues, we can still see inventories. If I bring up the menu again, uh, we can turn uh, items off. So in that way, it keeps that on, but you still get the power. Uh, electricity, that turns that off. Uh, transportation is supposed to well, I should leave those off because I actually like that. Uh, transportation is supposed to turn the, I do believe it's supposed to turn the arrows off, but for some reason it hasn't actually come out. And at the same time too, we have a center of mass, which I like to have, comes in handy. Uh, there's a, another thing they added too, actually let's go take care of this one first before I forget. Uh, they changed the, the much anticipated uh, output of the greenhouses uh, before it was basically one to one. You would get one fruitage out of one seed, one seed out of one fruitage and one biomass, or one biomass, one water. Now it's basically five and five. So what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, we don't need that much. Get a hundred going for now. Uh, as that's producing seeds, it's going to create more seeds, so basically I can get endless seeds as long as I have biomass and clean water in here. I do have some biomass and some clean water. Uh, then what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start living off of the nutrition capsules. Go in here, and then these ones are biomass and herbs, one for one. So I get one greenhouse producing seeds, one greenhouse producing... Uh, nuts and then one producing what was the other word there herbs yes yes so let's uh, get back into this menu here make sure you got everything on me I'm gonna extend this platform out a little bit uh, it's another thing they actually added for this particular update was uh, apparently you can gather loot from nests now when I was cleaning out these trees and as you can see I cleared out a whole bunch of trees for today's project and it's a project I've been wanting to work on for a while because I want to get my backyard free and right now I have a 40 ton train in the way so I need a place to park it so we're gonna make a we're gonna make a train station today originally I was thinking of trying to get like a an old western style sort of wooden style thing but I think I might try to get a little futuristic try to get try to get some gray and whites into it and strap a couple of beacons in there somewhere and just a place to park the train and whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, uh, apparently you can gather loot from the nest. I tried getting it from a brand nest I had here, but the top section was missing. All I had was a stem and I didn't really get anything out of it. So I'm not too sure about that. And brace yourself for some lag. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Let's get my orange conveyor pipe. Okay, and judging by the lag, that definitely connected it. Well, we'll find out in a second here. Uh, it should have access, yes. As long as it's got access to dirty water, that's fine. Okay, hang on a second here. Uh, cool. Alright, and I might as well eat while I'm here get back into here. Uh, someone suggested too about being able to toggle uh, between build and survival just by hitting Q. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, so we're still trapping 11 in. Uh, <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, get an elbow, 
and then another elbow going this way. Fill that all in, we get a greenhouse, and then we'll have... Alright, well one's going to be blue for seeds, which is going to be the one that's green right now. The one that's... I guess... I guess we'll keep this one, uh, nuts and herbs, and... And then the other one here, that I am building right now, is going to be... The herbs. See if I can get this to snap in place. Did that connect? Let's find out. Yes, it did. And I just got a power, so that's gonna. This one's gonna go blue for seeds. This one is gonna be a crafting mat. Uh, let's. May as well. May as well do it this way. And you need power. Oh, that's... I like that. You bring it up and then you actually see the power lines we have in your hand. That's cool. I like that. Alright, now this one is just going to be endless herbs. So, yeah, we should be good. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I filled up both of them. So now, before we continue... Uh, do I have anything I care, on me I care about? Ah, I'll be fine. So yeah, I tried getting that nest that was here of the brands, and that didn't get me anything. So we're gonna go over here and uh, go take care of the good dillos over here. Uh, I was I was thinking of having a little bit of a project with them here, but uh, there's not enough open space for it. I have to get some trees out, so we'll have to find an, another family to call our own. <laughs> and that's all I'm gonna say. Alright, so there's the nest. I don't know whether I should let these guys live or not. Don't really need the meat. Let's reload. I really want to see what these Easter eggs are. It's only going to be a limited time. And since I've already died in the most embarrassing way possible, I don't think one of these guys are really going to be that big of an issue. Ooh, can I get in there? See if I can drop in. Easter terrestrial eggs. Let's go check these things out. Haha. -ha. Too slow. You're lucky I let you live too. This time. Alright, did I steal your Easter eggs? Let's see how far he's gonna follow me. Ah, that's what I thought. Alright, that's what these things are. Oh wow, superfoods. Uh, hopefully they taste better than they look. Please be chocolate inside. Please be chocolate inside. Uh, nice. Uh, are they gonna are they gonna stick around or are they gonna disappear after the next update? That's the question. Alright, so with that being said and that being done, let's go ahead and build ourselves a train station.
And there we have it. Lab Central Station. I was going to try to get a little more work into it. One of the things I wanted to do is I was thinking about using the long slopes and sort of doubling them up to go up. And then, as you saw, I was actually trying to put the light on the back side, but that wasn't working out too well because that actually has a two block height. But there we go. So we got a place to land my my little train there. Uh, yes, it is really small, but uh, let's actually go take it, take it for a test. Uh, what I'll do is I'm actually gonna adjust the air blades to see if I can get a little more speed on this. So this is it now, and this is it now. So I tried to get a few of them on. Uh, the back heart cold actually has two, this has three, this has four, this has five, this has seven, and this has all nine. I might be able to get this one to go up eight and seven. Let's actually let's do that. Let's just keep one one pair or less the further down we go. So we'll do this. Oh, yeah, I should know this double click for both the back end there. Alright, then this one, and I'll make this the full 7 up top, which probably be easier if I just hover. Okay, and then this one will go to 6. And this one will go 5, and that one will go 4. Then hopefully we can actually get some good speed with this. Uh, I can't actually use this test as a comparison because it's going to be an empty load. We don't actually have the containers on here yet. I have been uh, mass producing stuff, so we're we're out of cobalt right now. Um, we're almost out of xanite. Uh, still got some aluminum. Silver's almost out too. Silver is going to be another big one. Uh, we are going to be going through some hover pads this this season. I don't know how many, how many, but I know I'm not going to have enough resources for all of them. So let me do a quick save here, and then we'll unplant this bad boy and take it for a flight. Okay, all saved and ready to go. You stay still. Pretty nice. Don't make me reload. I will if you don't don't behave. All right. Now, now hopefully, now despite the fact that I've got a couple dozen hinges on this thing, hopefully it doesn't clip through the the station on reload. Did I just have the one on the front? Yes, I did. Alright, and uh, I don't know if anybody noticed, but the cockpit in the front generator was actually off-center. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was trying to get the size of this thing, and I didn't realize that it was slightly off. Alright, so we gotta zoom way, way, way out on this one. See how fast it lifts now? It doesn't have the containers. And I don't know if that's actually going to affect my velocity, but... What I want to do is just make sure that they're not going to bunch up. Definitely getting a lot. Look at that. 40. Almost 50. Definitely better. It's not 70, but if this thing's going to be carrying 50 tons, well, 40 tons, it's not going to be the end of the world. But you can see how... The gold car there is sitting a little lower than the rest of them. And that's just because of the extra weight that it's carrying. Okay. Now, now what I gotta do is I gotta set up a distributor and get like runway lights sort of pulsating down the, the, the runway. Track, platform, station, whatever. But that's good. It's not bunching up, which is what I was worried about. Aside from the fish tailing, but hey, what do you expect? We're off the rails on this one. Okay, so we'll lift her up and we'll swing her around. If 
you notice too, I wanted to keep it parallel, like actually sort of parallel with the base or the the lab base lab. Same thing in my books. Uh, but what I did is I built off the the main foundation with uh, ceiling tiles until I got my my main structure set up, and then I just disconnected it from the grid. So then at least I get it straight, but at the same time too, it creates a separate structure. So hopefully doesn't have any issues. Now I did give myself a, enough room. I got a little bit of extra room on this one. I knew it was going to be maybe a little wider. Ah ha ha. Uh, so that is the problem. Someone else had the same issue. Uh, apparently, control doesn't work to lower the craft. Let's see if hopping out and hopping back in will do it. Ow. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, that's new. Please. Yep. Doesn't want to go down. Hmm. This is, uh, Kill the power quickly, sort of deal. Ooh, that was fun. Uh oh. Doesn't want to go down. Ah, hang on one moment. Really? I didn't know this thing was animated. Maybe I just never pay attention to the thing. But anyways, uh, yeah, there's some sort of issue going on with some of the flyers. Uh, this one I can go up, but I can't come back down. This one, I have no problems. I don't know what it is. Uh, apparently it's a bug with the last update. It's something about uh, they were doing a few things like changing like vehicle speed. They changed one of the, the fix. Well, not changing. Uh, saving vehicle speed and momentum and stuff like that with save files so if you auto save and you're in the middle of accelerating or something that it would do some it would affect those settings i'm sorry it's late at night already for me uh but yeah i don't know what it is that one works that one doesn't but we have a station here uh definitely have to land here one of these days <laughs> probably Soon when they released a hot fix that uh, we are gonna have to go and get some mining done. Like I said, that's not an issue. Uh, everything is still configured the way I had it, so at least you know it works. And there's the sun. Yes, good, just like that. But there we have it. Uh, there is my station and it's a place to park my train. But anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.